Hi, it's Danny, and welcome to the Holden and GM Car Show for 2020. We thought this event was never going to happen, but it is, and there's smiles on dials all round. Why do you ask? Because the value of Holden's has gone up, up, up. Even these hipster machines. At seven and a half thousand dollars, I must investigate. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and stick around. I'm going to try and find the best original mullet around here. Hey, look, I love coming to these car shows because you get to bump into people that you haven't seen for ages. And one of those people is Adrian. And I'll tell you what, he's stripped some weight off since I last saw him. Good on you too, mate. Thank you very much. Mate. But you've been spending your money and you've got yourself a nice two-door Holden Monaro here. What yep. year is this, mate? Uh, it's a 1975 yeah. HJ Coupe. So the story behind this, how long have you had it for, mate? Oh, I'd say 10 years now. 10 years? Yes. Bought it like this, or have you restored well, it? I bought it like this to an extent, but yeah. I spent a lot of time and money on it. Yeah. Get it right, as you do. It is a credit to you, because it's Thank a beautiful looking machine. Not running the original engine in it, no, but it's no. got the the big dirty old Chevy in there. Which, uh, <laughs> dirty old Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did have what. a dirty old 202 with a traumatic. Did a <laughs> traumatic. <laughs> Love that expression. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she'd light them up with this in there, wouldn't it? Oh, she goes well. You Just put her on a still dyno? A cru still a cruiser, no, no. I haven't, got that, I haven't got that much power into this one. I've got a later yeah. model one that's got a lot got more a power. power. But no, it's a beautiful cruiser. It just drives nice. It's got yeah. uh, coilover suspension and tubular arms. Yeah. And nine inch diff. Do you take your car shows much or not? Uh, not a lot. This is yeah. the first one for two years. I yeah. Just, supporting the club, the Monaro yeah. Club. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they yeah. do an excellent job. Oh, and no, I'll tell you what, right. they struggled a bit this year because of the weather. Oh, the weather and last been, year it was yeah. torrential rain. If you watch one of my previous videos, yeah, yeah, check exactly. it out. We're built pretty tough here in Tasmania, oh, aren't we, Adrian? We are, mate. <laughs> I'll let the other head at home today, though. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's the way it goes. No, this is a beautiful machine. Uh, we thank you so much for bringing it along today. Absolute pleasure, mate. But when you are cruising and you're just taking it easy on a beautiful Saturday or sunny day with the arm out the window, what, what music do you like to listen oh, to, mate? I love a bit of Akadaka, mate. Oh, oh, yeah, you can't why beat not? Favourite song? Favourite song of ACDC? Oh, Lisa? God. Jeez, now you put me on the spot, mate. I can't think of anything. Shoot the thrill for me. Shoot the thrill. Shoot the thrill. Yeah, yeah. that's off uh, Back in Black and was a. It, it oh, is you too. Just drop it back again, mate, and plant up it. Watch out for the boys in blue. Oh, yeah. Look at this, I'm happy with what you brought along today, but it's a Tirana, but look what's hanging out the bonnet of it. What the hell yeah. is that? Can you explain what that's all about? Yeah, well it's a um, 350 Chev with a 671 supercharger on it. Wow. Yeah, it's good for about 450, 500 kilowatts at the rear wheels. So yeah. do you take it to the drags? Yes, I have done over the years. Yeah, and you but, don't do that much now? No, no, no just... Um, just levers, dinners uh, and things like just that? Just a bit of power cruise, a <laughs> few levers, dinners here and there. And, um, but the trouble is though, when he does the levers dinner, he's got to put a cardboard box over there, so it makes it street legal, yeah, if you know what I mean. That's right, <laughs> yes. Paint it yellow. Yeah, paint it yellow, that's the guy. How long have you had this car, mate? I've had it 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. What year and yeah, model? It's uh, 1971. Yeah. Um, it's not actually a GDR XU1, it's Isn't a replica it? yeah, of yeah, one. Yeah. Um, you were saying you did do a bit of a dyno test on it at one stage, didn't you? Or, and, yes. And what did, did it produce at the back wheels? It had 429 at the rear wheels, but yeah. since I've um, put it on methanol, so it's got a little bit more oh, power now. Yeah. We're getting bloody serious here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, that was pump fuel, so now I've got methanol, so it should be pumping out a few more. On horsepower. such a little car, too. Yes. My mum yes. used to drive uh, me to school in one of these, and I'll tell you oh, what, really? it didn't go like this, even though she thought it did sometimes <laughs> when we were late. We yeah. really appreciate you bringing along today to show everybody, mate. Yes, no, we made the trip from Hobart. So oh, awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. even better. Well yeah. done. No worries. Well, thanks for having us. You've come along to the best part of the state. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've caught up with the newly crowned president here. It's not Donald, it is Joe. No, it's actually Kenneth here. You've got to be happy with today's results, mate. 
Uh, more than happy, Danny. Uh, yeah. Being on a Saturday, we didn't think if it was going to work or not, and yeah. we put the time back another hour so yeah. people that do work Saturday um, have the chance to come along. But I'm more than happy with the way that it's turned out. There's a lot yeah. of cars here that I haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful day weather-wise. You couldn't wish for anything better. There's a lot of Holden drivers don't like getting raindrops on their cars, and yeah. Athletics Carnival tomorrow, so we had to have it on the Saturday. But I've been uh, walking around trying to find the best original mullet. And today, Kenneth, look at have a look at this one. Yeah. Hey, he takes it out today. Yeah. Congratulations and right. congratulations on a fantastic day. Right. Peter's got a beautiful car here. E.H. Holden, there's not many of these left. Uh, what year model is this one? Uh, 63. 1963, the purple people eater. I love the little uh, Venetian blind in the background. It's saying that recently you just put the uh, the, the striping along the side. Yeah, all yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it just makes this car, yeah, doesn't it? It, does. it gives it a bit of separation and the fact that the, the car's uh, like got a boxy square shape, I think it really, really suits the car. Now the interior, pure white. What made you go white on the interior? Oh, I just sort of like the white and the purple. Right? Yeah. It's just a good good match. combination. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just sort of liked it. Yeah. Got the uh, tacos on the dash there, I see, and yeah. the white white wheel to match. That's cool. Yeah. So how long have you actually had it? Probably four years. Four years, yeah. I Always yeah. aspired to have one of those? Yeah. yeah. Always wanted one. I never had the chance to buy one. I did buy another one. Like, I bought a burgundy one. Like, and yeah. Needed a lot of work and, and stuff like that. I can... I'd sort of seen this one. Ah, oh, yep. yep. I'll go down and check that out. Well, it's a great car, mate. Uh, we thank you for bringing it along today and I uh, hope you get years of enjoyment out of it. I will, don't worry. I've come across an immaculate 2007 VE Commodore. This is pretty tough, and this is the owner, Robert. How are you today, mate? Yeah, I'm pretty good, enjoying the weather. Oh, and a great car show. What a great yeah. turnout. Yes, yes, I, I didn't expect so many, really, because there's yeah. other things on this day. Now, the thing that sort of attracted me to this car is just the pure styling of it, you know, with the stripes and everything. It's just a, a, a true muscle car, isn't yeah, it? It's a, it's a nice shaped car. Though, it is, isn't yeah. it? You had it long, or? No, I've only had it about eight months yeah okay but i was looking for a long time for a car like this so this is your retirement uh project yeah, you know yeah. when you wanted to buy a toy yeah i've awesome. been retired nearly four years now. yeah yeah <laughs> but i was yeah. looking for something special yeah and this came along and um and i thought well what a great car to keep and keep yeah. you know like some of the this. young guys would be envious of this car, you know, right? Oh, well, <laughs> in the supermarket they are. Yeah. That, that's uh, nice to see an old person driving a yeah, car. Yeah, like and you yeah. usually go go easy on the old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Definite collector's item happening there, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it will be. Yeah. It, it, I, hopefully it'll be an investment one day, probably for my son, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and as I said earlier, Robert, there's a lot of people walking around with smiles on their faces because uh, because they've stopped making the Holden, of course the value's gone up, oh. hasn't it? If you, if you had just look on um, Facebook now, yeah, to 12 months ago, to yeah. cars, um, you know, uh, the, the, the sports model, the club yeah. sports, and they've become uh, an investment, haven't oh, they? They're worth a hell of a lot more than what they paid 12 months ago for. That's it. Thank you so yeah. much for bringing it along, and uh, it's a great car. I really like yeah, it. No Thanks, worries, Robert. My pleasure.
Now, Boris has got a real head turner at the uh, car show here today. Uh, tell us all about this car. It's a 56 FJ Holden. Yeah. I've had it on the road since 2007. Probably okay. had it for years before that, building it up. They take a while. So the story behind this car, is it one of those cars you always wanted, is it? or? Yeah, I had a ute before that. Oh, cool. But they're too small and I don't fit. This is great presentation of this car. It's got a thumping engine underneath the bonnet. Tell us about that. It's a small block Chev, uh, 283, because yeah. it's built to Queensland rules, 4.9 yep. litre, yep. many years ago. What made you want to put such a huge engine in a car like this? I like V8s. Do you? Yeah, cool. Yeah. No other answer that I just like big V8s, and that was what I could put in it. And I like the little letterbox on the front there where you put your eBay parcels in. Like that. <laughs> that, that's great. So what's the most uh, common question people ask you about this car at a car show? What? A lot of it is uh, what colour is the paint? Yeah, okay. So yeah. what is the colour? So it is just a jet black with a, um, a purple fleck through it. Cool. And it's black most of the time until the sun comes out, like today. So having such a big engine, uh, the drive line, did you have to do much to that? I uh, put a four-speed auto, because yep. I'm lazy. Yeah. And, <laughs> and just for strength, I put a alloy Ford 9-inch in the rear. Wow. Yeah, it's good. No, yeah. it's a really great car, and we really appreciate you bringing it along today. No worries. has brought along an awesome car. So many people have been talking about this one today. It's a panel van. It's uh, not an FX, it's an FJ, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's FJ originally, but yeah. we just had the FX grill and everything there at home, so yeah. the front sheet metal, so we decided to put it on there for something different. You've really made it your own, because, I mean, you've done all the back out, like the traditional panel van owner does, and you've done your, your little mods and everything yeah. like that. How long have you had it for? Uh, Dad's owned it for, it just took 23 years to build, so yeah, okay. Dad's had it for longer than that. Yeah, right, so it's been in the family for that long. It's not yep. something you've just found. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Chris, this family is a real mad uh, car family, and um, you've probably seen the, the ambulance, HR ambulance. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think it was on the uh, Convicts video of mine. That, it's great, that's part of the family there. So, uh, what are we running under the bonnet there, mate? Uh, 179 HP. 179 gearbox. Aussie four speed. A couple of bucket seats there that yeah, aren't original. What are they? Out VB, VK Commodore. Awesome. Same as the steering columns out of VK, VB, VK Commodore. And that's what I love about this car because they've really made it their own. So it's not about having genuine, everything genuine, having everything perfect. It's just the, it's the, the personal touch, I think, yeah. in these cars, which really makes it. And the uh, little Westerns on there yep. really make it as well. So that's good. No, thank you so much for bringing it along today. That's not a problem. Well, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed my coverage of the Holden and GM Motor Show for 2020. Thank goodness it actually went ahead, no rain. It was a beautiful day. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Press that little bell for instant notifications. And I better get Nana's cake tins back so she can bake me a cake. Till next time, we'll see you later.